Hey guys, how's it going? I'm out in nature on my balcony. These, I got my flowers and um, we're gonna read some poems. So um, thank you for listening to what I've been working on this year in the Humanities Capstone. I chose to write a book of persona poems about different famous and historical figures that have made some kind of impact whether that be positive or negative on our world today. And my interpretation interpretation and definition of persona poetry, how I look at it, is writing in the voice, perspective, and mind of the person you're writing about. So my first one is about Freddie Mercury, and it's called Breaking Free. Look how it butterflies, the butterfly. Come, darling, have a look. I have the best look. See how the blue mingles with the red, and at the head of the body, see the wandering eyes rooted at the head of two antennae. A strong bass, delicate wings, just like the singer of a four-person band thrust through the ringer at the industry's hand. Look, it's colors, lighter as we watch, getting only brighter as we watch animated by its audience, free from a cage. Look how it butterflies on sill and on stage. A strong bass, delicate wings. I want to break free, it hums, it sings. Its outside is its inside. Inside, it knows it can't be inside. Its insight keeps it insight. To be inside would to be trapped, manipulated at the eyes of its watcher. But to be outside is to come outside. Now it's free. Now its watcher is manipulated by the eyes of me. So for this one, um, my perspective was completely in the voice and mind of Freddie Mercury. And I wanted to make it more interesting. So I thought, what would he be thinking or saying when he looked at a butterfly? What would be going through his mind? Um, and so that's how I chose to do that one. My next poem is about Anne Frank and it's called Wood Notes. Shh, did you hear the floor creak? It came from below me. Shh, not even a squeak. I move, I die, but that can't stop my hand at this. For paper has more patience than people. One Jew plus another equals two dead. His power can't stop my mind from writing down a little something to keep my smile alive. Surrounded by the creaky wood, I'm grounded to know what I could lose. My mind, and it'd continue to go. Falling through the wood beneath, I write it slowly, but think fastly, for time is not running out, but at me. Um, and so for this poem, I was just trying to channel not only what Anne Frank was feeling, but the fact that she remained to have hope in her heart in her tough situation. This poem is about Mark Zuckerberg, and it's called The Gravy Situation. Where is the structure, hmm? Where is your mother, hmm? This is not what we agreed on. You blurted you wanted something to eat on. Now look at us, looking at each other. Blank face, as if we don't know one another. What can I do? You've spilled everything, your intelligence too. Where is the fork, the knife? Why isn't this like work, my life? You stupid baby. I take that back, but now the floor is covered in gravy. Clean it up, fast, fast, fast. Everything's fast, no time for time. Where is the algorithm for cleaning up spilled gravy? The gravy has spilled on my new book. Look at you, with gravy all over your face. Um, I don't know if you guys were taken a little bit aback by the whole gravy situation, the Mark Zuckerberg poem, but I was just trying to emulate kind of how his mind is always on work and how it's always busy, and now he has to deal with having a child, a baby, and um, kind of how he goes about that situation. So I also did an exhibit board for this project, which highlighted each a uh, historical and famous figure and kind of gave a guideline of how it's going to go about the year and how it's going to involve the community and learn about persona poetry and what it is and then eventually write the poems. So like I said, um, how I got involved in community was I taught a quick persona poetry class with these middle schoolers and I really had a lot of fun with it. I don't know if I could do that all day with little kids as I'm sure you guys know, but um, it was really fun. And we went through 
um, kind of what a persona poem was, which they weren't keen on, they just wanted to write. And so we got to writing and they were each split up into a pair and they each wrote one line of poetry as like a team. And then all the class we combined into one and the poems um, became pretty silly, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and if you want those, I can also email those to you. So thank you guys for listening in on uh, my little reading, as I like to call it. And um, I hope you guys like them. And I have more poems from what I've worked on this year. If you want them, I can email them to you.